Clam Dennis Lot, the 2009 Arrow Back on the Road winner. And uh, we're going to do a quick pre trip on the truck here. And uh, this is pretty much how I do it, but you may have different techniques of doing your pre trip. But uh, I think I, I hit most of the areas that you're supposed to hit on a pre trip. And uh, when I get out of the cab and I start, I've got my lights on, my four ways on, and I'm going to start right down through here and go down and around and come back up the other side of the trailer. And uh, my first stop when I start doing my pre-trip is, is right here at the beginning of the trailer. I'm going to check my airlines, make sure that they're still hooked up and that they're hooked to the tra tractor also. I check to make sure my fuel caps are still on my tanks. Once I finish this, I move into the tire area and I just kind of look underneath to make sure that fifth wheel pin is shoved in and then I'm going to thump my tires and uh, inspect them to make sure there's no rocks, any bolts, nails or anything in my tires. If, if there's a rock, I can just take my tool and flip the rocks out to keep from hitting somebody's windshield as I go down the road and the tires flex and the rocks come out. My next stop is here at the back. Make sure I got my two mud flaps, my four ways are going, and I also climb underneath and look up into the fifth wheel to make sure that fifth wheel lock is across. And uh, so when I pull out, the trailer doesn't drop off the tractor. And I check my landing gear, make sure it's, it's secure because we don't want this handle flying off and hitting the car. And uh, just kind of look at the landing gear legs right there. And then as I work my way on back, I check the, this trailer is a newer trailer, so it's got the fender skirts uh, to deflect the air. I'm checking to make sure that they're secure, they're not coming loose. And I stop at my first light here, and I'm wiping off the lights as I go to make sure that they're clear of any dust or debris. And then uh, I come on back here, and I'm going to look underneath the trailer because I like to look at the pins that lock my tandems in to make sure that they're still out where they're supposed to be as they are. And then again, I'm going to look at the lug nuts, make sure I don't see any rust marks because if rust marks means you may have a lug nut coming loose. And again, I'm going to pump the tires and. Uh, Make sure there's no nails, bolts, rocks, or anything in the tread. And uh, and at the beginning of the week, I'll also check the air pressure. On these trailers right here, we have the air system that always puts air into the tires. So if a tire loses air going down the road, it's replaced, bumps the tire back up to where it's supposed to be. And then I start on back to the back of the trailer, check to make sure two mud flaps on the back of the trailer are there. And uh, check out my lights, make sure my lights are working, and uh, wipe any dust and dirt off of them. And then we go around here to the back of the trailer where I'm checking license plate, make sure my license plate lights are working. Check my tail lights, my clearance lights, make sure my trailer is still locked and secure if I have a load on. And uh, that's what we pretty much do on both sides and work my way back up the other side. 